answer is always, always inside of you. Hey guys, how you doing? So I have some awesome news to share with you. A few weeks ago, I was nominated for the Best Female Inspirational Person Award. And on Saturday, I won. I, 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 I won the Best Female Inspirational Person Award. I mean, wow. 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 <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I can't, I still can't believe it. It's been three days and I still haven't slept at all. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Best, I don't know if you can see it. It's this best female and it's proper, like, hard. Like, I mean, come on. Look at this. It's amazing. I even get, like, a certificate with this as well. Boom. Yeah. Check this out. I wasn't really expecting anything, I mean, because it was... Uh, going into it like I said it's all about the journey and, and the experience and um, I never ever thought in a million years that I would get this award or, or even be nominated um, and it's just looking back it made me sort of reflect looking back how far I've come um, you know from losing my dad and then becoming a carer at the age of 14 and suffering from anxiety and depression to a point I could not even leave the house um, and to, for 15 years that was my life and then past three years I've been under one bit of a I call it my spiritual awakening my inner awakening where I just um, from a person who couldn't leave the house to doing everything you know socializing and becoming a, a motivational speaker um, and then getting nominated and then going on to win the best female inspirational person award i mean i don't i i bleh, i don't know what to say so when i was at the award ceremony i you know um i was just still buzzing with uh, like oh, i'm always buzzing you know when i'm at some sort of event and you're like it's like i'm, I'm like this always 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 i can't stop <laughs> so it's just buzzing here buzzing there taking pictures <laughs> There were some like um, some um, high profile people there, and I have to admit, um, I don't watch anything. It was I think it's more I don't watch any Bollywood or um, uh, sort of awards or even TV shows or anything like that. And I had no idea uh, who was who. And uh, apparently, I'm just probably just talking to some high profile people. I have no idea. <laughs> I met Noreen Khan from uh, the BBC Asian Network and um, I was just standing there I was like why are pe people taking picture with this with this lady she must be really important <laughs> so I was like so I want to point it out oh that's Noreen Khan from BBC Asian Network I was like oh so I went up to her I was like Hi, <laughs> are you are you Noreen Khan from the BBC Asian Network? And she's like, she's probably looking at me, thinking, what? <laughs> yeah. So I met, met her. I met some awesome people. So I was supposed to give an uh, inspirational live talk at the event as well. When they were about to announce the best female inspiration person, I was like, okay, boom, yeah, whatever happens, ch stay chilled, stay chilled. They chilled and it was like and he came and, and, and he announced Madia Susan and I was like ah! <laughs> I literally just screamed <laughs> and I just went I went from my seat went bouncing off my seat went bouncing on the stage landed and you know what I did boom <laughs> I literally just bounced 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 boom <laughs> I have arrived <laughs> oh, that's a big one that's a big one so that was the Adina Sosa Liquid.
like Aiden is like, okay, you might as well give your speech now. It's like, it's it's only fitting that you've won this ins inspirational award. You might as well give your sp inspiring speech now. And I was like, oh, it only makes sense. And I was like, okay, cool. It was just, when I was on that stage, it was amazing. Like the whole like the whole place was just completely silent and and i felt like uh i'm not big in my hopes of i felt like i was some sort of like powerhouse like that energy supply <laughs> or something and it was like a powerhouse and it was just it felt amazing the adrenaline rush of standing in front of people um sharing sharing my story inspiring people Depression is a killer. Let's face it, we've all been through hard times in our life. I was born in Pakistan and when I was seven, I moved to the UK with my mom so we could be with my dad. I didn't see my dad for four years prior to this as he was in the UK working so many jobs just to earn money for us. When I was 13, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. He passed away within a year and shortly after his death, my mom fell ill and I became a young carer at the age of 14. Now at the time, I didn't understand why this was happening to me. All I knew was the world around me was falling apart and I felt so unsafe and frightened to be alive. I felt so isolated and alone as I'm the only child. There was so much fear within me that I began suffering from crippling anxiety and depression to a point I could not even step outside the house without having a panic attack. There was a time when I used to have panic attacks two, three times a day and even going to the, going to the park or Tesco was just too much for me. I managed to let my circumstances affect my everyday life. My education and my social life was deeply affected. I was mentally and physically exhausted as I was battling anxiety and depression for more than 13 years, along with some difficult challenges that comes with being a carer. Now during this time, I questioned everything, and I'm sure you guys have too. What did I do to deserve this? If God was real, why would he make me suffer? Why would he make anyone else suffer? What's the point in life? Then two years ago, I experienced something that I had never experienced or heard of before. Maybe it's hard for you to believe, but I had what they call an intense and blissful outer body experience that changed the way I saw the world. I kid you not, my fears disappeared overnight and I began doing things that I was so afraid of doing. I started studying, I went to more social events, I, I went on helicopter rides and hey, I even became a motivational speaker. experience to change your circumstances to change your mindset no everyone wakes up to their own truth in many different ways this was just my uh, turning point so like I said since the experience I went through a rapid transformation not only physically but mentally too it was like I was given a new pair of eyes and I became consciously aware of how much the fear was holding me back from doing the things that I wanted to do. I also realized how important it is to go within yourselves to find the answer and to be in a positive mindset. So I'm standing here in front of all of you to show you that change can happen. You can turn your life around. The key to everything in life is to not to give up no matter how hard your life may be. During the darkest days of your life, that's when you experience the most growth. 
So when you're going through hard times, just know that it's making you strong in so many ways that you don't even realize yet. Live your life without any fear and watch how it flows for you. When the hard times arrive, just trust in the process and have faith that it will pass because it will. So guys, if you uh, would like to know more about my experience or you're going through a bit of a transformation yourself, come and talk to me. I'd love to connect with you guys. Before I leave, I will leave you with a quote by Dr. Wayne Dyer. I'm sure some of you might have heard of him. He's an awesome guy. It goes, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So always, always stay positive and keep going. Thank you. Woo! What an amazing speech. Thank you very much for that. And it's all about adding value. People go through hardships in life. It's about learning, understanding it, and knowing that you can pull through it. I just w would like to say thank you so, so much for all the love and support that you've given me in the last couple of weeks. Even before that, about last couple of days, weeks, it's just been, the support's been, like, just amazing. I've never, never... Um, experienced anything like it every, each person every single person that I spoke to they gave me so much love and um, and I'm so grateful for you guys I'm so grateful for um, yeah I'm just so grateful for everything I mean like um, I don't, I don't want to cry I don't want to cry <laughs> please do subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will speak to you soon bye oh hold on Bye! <laughs>